Hey everybody, it's Brian. Uh, thought I'd just leave everybody a quick video note as to where I've been and what I've been doing. Well, um, I'm sorry, I haven't posted a video in a very long time just because I've been horrendously busy with work. As you can see, my it's Monday, get to work, and there's my angry boss, you know, binding everybody up for a firing squad. Actually, my boss is a, a woman, so that probably doesn't fit. But anyways, um, also been, you know, being a dad, you know, my daughter's my daughter doesn't look like this, but you know she's 18, and you know that does take some time. You gotta just kind of be there for your kids. And my new kitten, the one that I've got, has been having behavioral issues around the house, and I've been cleaning up little puddles, and that's been less than fun. I've actually got him in kitty jail right now because they want a, a urine sample. And uh, yes, I know a couple of you are probably chuckling, but do you realize how hard it is to get a urine sample from a cat? You can't just tell him to pee in a cup. So he's in uh, kitty lockdown right now. And uh, my work is going to send me to VMware training. If you don't know what VMware is, uh, go to VMware.com. It's actually really, really cool stuff. It's virtualization, so you can put a computer inside of a computer and even inside of another computer if you really felt like it. But you can build entire virtual networks, and they've got a certification you have to go through, get certified under services, called the VCP. Um, you have to take their training in order to take their tests, and the training alone is close to $4,000, and work is flipping the bill for that. So I'm going to be taking the VMware Certified Professional VCP4 and then I have to take the VCP5 before February or I have to retake the the class which would be another $4,000 which I don't think work will really flip the bill for that. So I'm going to be in cram mode. Um, also some exciting news. I've been working on my website. Um, actually I've been working on things that you won't see if you go there yet because I haven't finished. Um, what I'm working on is called um, IO Completion Ports. Um, I'm doing it in C sharp, but kind of just Google C sharp IOCP and you'll be able to read up on you know IOCP and what it is. But I'll give you just the lowdown real quick. Um, if you've ever worked with socket programming like TCP connections in any language, doesn't matter if it's C sharp, VB, C plus plus with Qt or Python or whatever, you know that there is an upper threshold when you uh, go to build a server. Most servers begin to puke around a thousand connections, sometimes even less, like a hundred, and really high strength professional servers like IIS, Apache, things of those, um, they use what's called IOCP in Windows. On other platforms it's different, but um, IOCP, IO communication ports, or I'm sorry, IO completion ports, um, allows these programs to handle thousands, and I mean 50, 60, 70,000 connections per server. Um, that's what I've been working on, and I'm trying to make a managed TCP and UDP server system using C sharp asynchronous sockets which uses IOCP under the hood and it is um, less than easy let's put it that way I'm on like version 5 where I've just totally scrapped it and start over I've been working on this off and on for about five years now um, let me see if I can find it hmm. dum, dum, dum. planet dash source dash code help if I could see in my mouse there we go Dot com. Um, I've submitted one of these before a long time ago to a thing called planetsourcecode.com and let's just choose a language, let's go .net and look for my handle which is void realms. I actually have not posted anything here in a very long time. Um, I just quite simply got bored with their website. Um, Planet Source Code, basically you can submit code and win, win an award if you do some stuff like I've done a high speed threaded parser, things like that threaded HTTP would download. Um, here it is. This was version 2 I actually submitted. Um, basically what it is is it's TCP sockets and UDP and I build a base server and then from that base ser you, server you can derive an HTTP server, an FTP server and I want to do a server and a client for each protocol so there'll be an FTP server, FTP client, etc, etc, etc. The tricky part of course is getting the base classes that you inherit from correct. Um, I'm on version 5, you know, I haven't released, you know, like three versions of this so far, but version 5 is much more stable and it's just been consuming a lot of my time because I find it fascinating. Um, that being said, I do want to release it um, fully open source on my website, voidrealms.com, and I do expect some of you C-sharp fanatics out there and even some of you C++ guys to look at the code and tell me, hey, do this better, or hey, this rocks, or hey, that's totally dead wrong, try again. Um, I want it to just seamlessly um, have things like IOCP, um, SSL connections, encryption, 
Uh, when I say encryption, I don't mean SSL. I mean like 256-bit AES customized socket encryption, things of that nature. I mean real military strength, high-end industrial use sockets that will be totally open source and totally free. And I've never really done a fully open source project before. So this will be a real learning curve for me, to say the least. But anyways, just want to drop you guys a note and let you know that no, I haven't abandoned the videos. I've just been really, 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 really busy. So I do appreciate your feedback. A lot of you guys out there have given me a lot of really, really good feedback, and I do appreciate it. And believe it or not, I read every single message that comes in. It may take me a week or two to get to it just because of the sheer number of messages I get, but I read every single message. I just, I refuse to have somebody's message go unread. Now, I don't reply to every single message because some of them, well, I don't, what was his name? Joker69, I think his name was. Joker1969. Um, yeah, dude, don't send naked pictures of yourself to other people. It's just wrong. Um, but that's why I don't reply to all of them. Anyways, this is Brian. Um, thank you for watching. And stay tuned because I will be making more videos. I'm going to try to kick out at least a couple a week. But like I said, things have just been crazy. And when I go into... VMware certification mode. I'm going to be doing nothing but hitting the books for about two or three weeks straight until I take this test. And like I said, maybe I'll do some VMware video tutorials. I don't know if any of you guys are even interested in that. So drop me a line. Let me know. All right. Talk to you later.